Peggy 16. Hey, what's up? My name is Brian Hayes, and I'm the gameplay producer for Fight Night Champion. I'm here to talk to you today about some improvements we've made with gameplay, specifically in regards to stamina. This year we've implemented regional anaerobic fatigue. Now that's a mouthful, but what it breaks down to is there's four internal stamina meters for four different regions on the body. Your left arm, your right arm, your torso, and your legs. In the past, your boxer's body was controlled by one simple stamina meter. With regional anaerobic fatigue, it's a much more accurate simulation of human physiology. It penalizes you for overusing a single muscle group too much in a short period of time. So if you're spamming a single punch over and over and over again, that arm's gonna get tired. Whereas if you throw combos with alternating hands, you'll maintain performance. In addition, we've broken stamina into two separate boxer ratings, conditioning and endurance. One that controls your boxer performance in the short term in response to every single punch he throws or move he makes, and the other that governs his performance over the long term, how much his maximum stamina reduces over the course of a fight. Finally, in between rounds, your stamina and damage recover automatically, but they're affected by your performance in the previous round. If you fight really aggressively in one round, you'll recover less stamina between rounds, where if you fight with a more measured pace, you'll recover more. It makes the break between rounds really simple, but it can affect the strategy for every round in the fight. With four separate regional anaerobic fatigue meters, conditioning and endurance attributes, and a simplified between rounds corner experience, it's more important than ever to pick your shots in Fight Night Champion.